Hi Sands, it's Kim Enchantress from Sydney, Australia. Here to do your new moon solar eclipse reading in Aries for the 8th of April 24. So this is a combination of the new moon and solar eclipse in the sign of Aries, which means it's super energy for new beginnings, projects, ventures and journeys in life. So, you know, it's about collaboration. So boosting your relationships through teamwork, if it's a project and compromising on something. Collaborating, believing in yourself with the, the Aries energy and being courageous. So if you're ready to go, Pisces, jump right in because this eclipse is even stronger um, because of where the position it's in. Now, Pisces is rarely about money, but once this total solar eclipse hits the financial sector of your chart, you might change your mind. Suddenly a new venture stream may appear, or you might devise a genius idea for a side hustle perhaps that turns really profitable in a flash. Now old fears about materialism may bubble up around this time. Let those go. Remember, the more you earn, the more people you can help. And once you begin attracting the cash, you can spread your wealth. We have the mountain in the Lenormand cards as the main focus, which is Capricorn energy. So, so many meanings for this mountain, but you may stop yourself from choosing and um, blocking your alternatives. So this will limit your choices. The energy of Capricorn, make it about feeling at home in your sanctuary. This lunation may give you a clear indicator of whether your living situation is right for you or not. Perhaps some of you live in the mountains and it's too cold. Who knows? But the lunar eclipse at 5 degrees Libra and solar eclipse at 19 degrees Aries is going to make their mark, especially for those with planets in cardinal signs like Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. So we've got Capricorn and we do have Libra in the reading here too. Uh, you know, however, make no mistake, this eclipse pairing is crossing everyone's path. So Pisces, we also have the crossroads, the Libra energy. And, uh, you know, that's about choices, um, choosing a path, making a decision. You may feel you want to decide to go mountain climbing to delay whatever choices you need to make. This is going to stop yourself from choosing and you're going to isolate yourself from another person or a lover, perhaps. Now, Uranus, the planet of innovation and change, you're going to have sudden shifts in, and it's closely connected to this eclipse. So expect opportunities for growth, innovation, improvement through new experiences and projections. So this Uranus energy is encouraging you to break free from old patterns and embrace the change that is coming. We have Scorpio energy, the snake. So this could be using your intelligence. You could be... Um, feeling like you're in denial of a problem but this is due to being overwhelming or having overwhelming pride so you may choose to isolate yourself from difficult people the monday the 8th of april new moon and solar eclipse is very fiery aries energy and we already warned you about intensifies the need for self-care you may find yourself feeling drained around this time because this Scorpio energy is allowing the cosmic event to be your cue to disconnect and recharge your batteries. It's all about embracing simplicity, like having a cup of tea or a wine in the comfort of your home, watching telly or just reading a cosy book. It can be very restorative for you. Now we have the ring. Taurus energy, commitments, bonds, connections. It's, you know, you thinking about long-term commitment, feeling overwhelmed 
by a promise that you made or someone may have made a promise to you. But I feel like you're going to stall this commitment and possibly delay the arrival of some jewellery. I'm feeling it could be a, a ring with a snake on it um, or a necklace perhaps. But um, possibly to do with your old fears too. But as a sign of transformation, no one does a makeover quite like, like a Scorpio. So Friday the 19th of April marks the start of Taurus season, which heralds a period of ripe time for a makeover. Minor or major, doesn't matter. The sun in Taurus is going to encourage you to experiment with your style and to embrace the continuous journey of self-evolution particularly through the relationships you cherish and nurture here, Pisces. It means that while the next few weeks are ideal for playing with spring makeup and even opting for a piercing, or you, you know, you also find that changes are afoot in your favourite partnerships. As a fixed sign, while you're good at, at um, being stylish, allowing transformation within your relationships can be tougher for you than you thought. Now your Taurus season assignment is to look cute and let partnerships run their natural course. We also have the clouds which is all about uncertainty, doubt, confusion, the planet Neptune. You will block out your thoughts Pisces. You are overwhelmed around this um, eclipse season with an air of negativity so the future in your dreams can be your main focus with the airy solar eclipse and you can get excited by opportunities that are going to bring you closer to achieving something you dream of now this may involve a significant change in your life <coughs> excuse me and you can be willing to step outside of your comfort zone to make it happen so remember where we've got capricorn energy so Capricorns are very hard workers, but, you know, you could be putting up obstacles here. So you will commit to a, to being flexible. This will be a promising adventure for you, Pisces. You have choices over the confusion or plans that can be confusing. You have the inability to choose your thoughts at this moment, and you may hide your rival. This is an enemy putting confusion in your head. Whoever this person is, it could be this uh, Scorpio woman. But you know, mistrusting other women at, around this time, this may be jewelry that's owned by a competitor or having complicated arrangements in your relationships. But you're going to be tempted to make promises and you're going to be impressed by other people's commitments around this time. So I'm not going to leave it there for you guys. Very confusing type of reading uh, we'll see what we've got from the archangels and gemstone cards i have an affirmation here for you to say so what do we have for our beautiful pisces please spirit here we have andalusite are you in search of a deeper spiritual connection? Go outdoors and commune with nature. Listen to the messages being commuted by or commuted to you by the trees, plants and animals. Spend some time in the garden or the woods. Put your attention on your alignment with Mother Earth. So, you know, go and get some grounding happening. Archangel Sandalfon wants you to say in your quiet space, I am aligned with the four elements and the four directions. Now this could be what this is. I am a conduit for healing, Mother Earth. Protective energies always keep me safe. I receive spiritual insight to easily resolve problems. I know I am connected with all life. So any problems that are coming up with the snake or the mountain or the confusion, it's just about getting some clarity here, guys. So I'm sending love your way and um, appreciate you stopping by. Thanks, Pisces.